Hey everyone, it's Will GamerDad with another video for you. So in tonight's episode of Should You Summon, we'll discuss the uh, newest banners available. Keep in mind that we do have a repeat of a Star Dream encounter, which by the way is actually not bad even at this point in the game. And of course the various banners that not only featured ES Mario, which is the featured unit in Chapter 5 of the Apocrypha, but also some of the other um, interesting banners that were mentioned last night and this morning in the live stream. Now if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. And speaking of which, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my uh, Patreon supporters, Al Heyman. Thanks for your support. Okay, so quickly going over the Star Dream encounter, keep in mind that this is not up to date. It is only up to version 2.14.500. And the reason for that is this would coincide with the last time Japan actually got Chapter 5 released. Now keep in mind, as much as you say, oh, this is an old uh, Star Dream, not very useful will, and so on and so forth. This one still has the vast majority of the units um, that would be considered useful or meta in the game. This one goes all the way up to AS Nakoko, as well as uh, Alter His Mina, I believe. Or let's just click, click right down here Moonlight Flower His Mina. So this is actually about uh, up to last Christmas, um, you know, uh, when we got this update. And you can see, of course, normal three and a half fourths and so on and so forth. And you can quickly see that the picks you have are all here. So of course the Alma, Zolea, Flam, Eva, uh, you know, AS Nakoko, like I said, uh, a lot of other units up to the end of December, essentially, when that banner came out. And not only that, you do have both versions of Hismena in the Star Dream, as well as, like I said, the aforementioned uh, Moonlight Flower Hismena. So remember how this works. You can actually wait until the very last day or last week before the Star Dream expires before purchasing it. You do have about a month from today to buy it. And then after that, you can hold it for another 30 days after you open the banner. And so um, if you want to do it now, you can do it now. But most of the time, people do uh, request that you wait uh, near the end, especially if you are continuing to summon, so that you don't waste your Star Dream pick on a unit that you pulled in the meantime. Now, that being said, I did actually give a comprehensive uh, review of my thoughts about this particular Star Dream, and I will link that video uh, in the description below. It does summarize my thoughts in terms of who I would go with, um, you know, without any further information on your account, in terms of who I pick in your Star Dream uh, in ranking. And so, um, just uh, as a review, I don't think I would change uh, too much of the rankings. I did put Flam as number one, Alter Shion as number two, and then AS Nakoko number three, and then I think alt number four I did put, uh, I think, um, Alter Hismina and Orlea or Alma. So those would summarize uh, most of my top few picks. Of course, you could also add one of the newer units up to, uh, um, I guess, uh, you know, I think uh, Alter Sukiya's in here as well. But anyways, um, yeah. If you have the aforementioned units, obviously you'll go down the list and pick one that you don't have any form of. Um, but the only thing I would say is that obviously Flam is a little bit older now. And for those who have summoned on AS Flam, I believe that better is still out for a little bit as well. So uh, temper your expectations and decide who you want to pick with the Star Dream, depending on your existing roster, how you want to build out. Because each of the units you select will have advantages and disadvantages and round out your team quite nicely. All right, so anyways, uh, moving on from there, we do have a Faithful Encounter. And this is a Japan 6th anniversary series because uh, for those who aren't following, although we're just over four years in global, Japan has just celebrated their 6th anniversary, happy anniversary um, for the, the Japan and the Eden. And so this one is a paid uh, encounter, two times max. And yes, the Star Dream is also a paid 1,000 stones as well. One of the 10 is guaranteed, so you can clearly see ES Mario, Manolka, Garam AS, Flam AS, Bianca AS, Cynthia AS, Alma, Mew AS, Philo AS, and Odaha AS. So just quickly speaking, of all the 10 units here, I think 
Um, obviously, ES Flam, ES uh, Garum, and Minolka, and ES Meryl are after the Star Dream. The other units should be available through the Star Dream um, you know, that we have right now. So unless you're specifically looking for one of the newer units, you're better off spending your paid stones on the um, you know, Star Dream. Now, if you have plenty of paid stones and you really just want to get a higher chance of getting an ES Meryl, this one's not bad. Keeping in mind that obviously on the 10th pull, you're only guaranteed one of these 10 five stars. Um, and if you want other ones, then you'll probably have to summon on the general fateful um, ES banner for Meryl instead. Note also, the four star normal style Meryl and the five star AS as well as normal style are not upgraded. Very small percentages there. And you can see uh, the other units are just infinitesimally small, 0 0.02 for the five star and so on and so forth. And of course, bots, rainbow sisters and knights galore everywhere you see. And speaking of which, of course, like I said, if you are aiming for ES Meryl, this one as a faithful encounter <clears throat> does give you a four and a half and five star normal style rate up, 0.4 and 0.8 respectively. The ES, of course, is also 0.8 with a 10% chance on the 10th pull. Uh, not bad if you want to go for ES Meryl right off the bat. Uh, being that normal style Meryl is a very old unit, it was available from the very beginning of the game. I would imagine the vast majority of you do have Meryl in some form. And so just quickly as a review, if you are strictly free to play, you will not be summoning on any of the banners that feature ES Meryl because you could side grade it using three codexes that you find and bind two codexes from the store at the Nopa'u Emporium. Or you can just grind out five straight. Um, you know, ES Meryl is quite an interesting unit. Okay, so we just covered that one, which is the new one. And we'll go into her normal banner. Let's just take a look for the free units out there. Okay, for free players, you do have a full rate up as well. So 0.4 and 0.8 for the normal style and 0.8 for the ES. So a full 2% rate up for those who are missing Meryl in any form. Um, obviously, the normal style Meryl and AS Meryl are a little bit power crap, but I would say of the two, normal style Meryl are, is still quite good, especially with her manifest. AS Meryl did get a manifest in Japan, but I don't think uh, she got uh, improved dramatically. Um, I could be totally wrong on that, but that's my assumption and the impressions just because of the lack of news out there with the AS um, manifest. Keep in mind that Efe is now old enough, uh, is over two banners old now, that she is featured, albeit at a very low rate, in um, our free banners as well as now is included in there. So um, you do have a very small chance of giving Efe. I don't even know. Let's just take a look if Manalka's here. I don't think so, but let me just take a look. Yeah, I don't see her offhand, so uh, Manalka will not be in here from what I can see. Which is quite interesting because Manoka has been out for a little bit, but mind you, she's still in the store. Okay, so anyways, back to ES Meryl. So as I mentioned yesterday, she is a crystal lunatic. Um, so she does have the copy ability instead of one of the other um, mind's eye or whatever uh, weak point ability that the other crystal uh, units have. So she will do two at uh, two attacks or two moves for every one that she activates while in Lunatic. And she is an EX unit, uh, so she will have an EX finisher if you can build up her bar high enough. Now that being said, um, she is the first unit to have a prayer effect. And so just simply speaking, prayer has similar effects to singing where when you activate prayer, you can get uh, special effects that, allow, uh, that are active while prayer is in session. She can act, as in Meryl, ES can act while she is praying. And so that is unique compared to other singers where they're incapacitated and unable to act until their singing is over. The downside though is that prayer is interrupted if Meryl ES takes any damage. However, she actually can give herself an HP shield and she has a special ability that's called Sanctum State where when she uses a move, called Regina Lumina, which you will equip as one of your three moves. She not only gives a barrier to all party members with 50% damage reduction, 
and MP regen, it will also activate that Sanctum state, which basically means that she will never be targeted by single target skills by the enemy, she'll only get hit by AoEs, and there are other ways to mitigate that through either uh, cover, cover abilities, aka Efi or um, Aesora, um, I believe, uh, is uh, Radius. There's few ways around it, so if you have units like that, you can definitely take full advantage of Sanctum State. Not only that, she has uh, a decent DPS Crystal Blunt single target times 5 XL while hitting. It also restores all party members by 3000 HP, so if anyone has ES um, Melina, you'll know the power of that. And by the way, if you need a crystal, uh, if you need a crit setter, she can crit set for you with this DPS move, which is quite nice. An added bonus is if she is in lunatic mood, uh, mode, she will restore all statuses and heal for six thousand HP if you even need that much. So um, it's kind of like Meryl's, uh, you know, pure cradle all boosted up while doing some DPS as a crystal blunt attack. And note that it is five times hit. So if you have uh, units such as ES uh, Suzette um, or other units that can, can give that multi-hit boost, she will benefit a lot from that. Not only that, that but when she sings, of course, uh, she has uh, singing that can, or the prayer, I should say, that reduces damage by all party members by 50% in terms of taking damage, activates Lunatic's Mind Eye on all party members, which really increases damage against weakness, so she'll be able to help your team take full advantage of weakness, and of course, crystal teams such as Alma and her, or other units like that, ES Melina and so on and so forth, will take advantage of uh, doing tons of damage against weakness. There are other ways to change crystal to other elements since you have now AS Nakoko in, in play. So you can really mess up a lot of things and do tons of damage and take advantage of the situation. And of course, when prayer is active, it will reapply buffs, which will be type resistance, all party members plus 50, which is Aurora Force kind of thing, knockback immunity for one time, which is like AS Yifa or Efi, and shield with 30% of max HP, which is basically an HP, uh, I guess an HP shield to help prevent Meryl from getting hurt. Pretty big package. So should you summon? My feeling is, of course, uh, if you're still looking for a uh, Manalka or ES, uh, AS Flam, and you really want to prioritize fire or water over uh, crystal, especially crystal blunt, you can still prioritize those ones as well. This banner is a new banner and will be out for two, week, uh, two months. And also, currently, crystal as powerful as it can be, especially with copy. Remember that copying does two uh, rounds of hitting, so Meryl ES can put out a lot of damage or do a lot of healing. Uh, Crystal is still not uh, ultra important in uh, end game fighting yet. Uh, there are enemies that of course you can do Crystal Zone and so on and so forth. But in terms of exploiting Crystal Weakness, there are only a few enemies or bosses out there that really need that at this point. Now future um, content, you never know. And so if you want to prepare for that and you don't have any form of Mariel, uh, she is a pretty good unit, has a lot of capabilities uh, in terms of, uh, like I said, the prayer, the healing, the damage, and knockback immunity, um, and ability to apply mind's eye, and so on and so forth. And not only that, she is our first prayer unit, and so I'm sure there's lots of ways to abuse that ability as well. So again, if you have stones to summon, you can definitely consider that. I would imagine, like I said, that most of you do have Meryl in some form, and if that's the case, you can put it off. And and to be fair, again, to, contrary to what I just said, Crystal Blunt is still not absolutely necessary at this point. I can't think of tons of bosses you want to uh, you know, necessarily use it on. So take that for what it's worth. Now, the last pair of banners is very interesting, and I'm curious to see what it is. I believe these are free banners as well. So there's the Blessing and the Fighting Spirit. And so as per yesterday's banner, or patch notes, you have a 5% chance, as in 1% times 5, of getting these 5 units. And so each one features 5 different units. The first one does give Mero ES, Nokoko AS, Sora AS, Yukino AS, and Lili AS. Note that no other 5 stars are available, however you can get the 4.5 at a very 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 small rate, 0 0.01, and on the 10th pull is 0 0.10. So again, 
50% rate up in terms of 5 stars instead of 3.6 to 5%. However, you remove all the other 5 stars that are available in the game other than these 5. So this is an alternate way of exposing some uh, yourself to getting an ES Meryl while still benefiting from the rate up because rate up banners are very rare. We hardly ever get anything um, like that. And to be fair, we even our last couple of anniversary banners, we have not had any rate up banners. Same with this one. Uh, this one does feature one of the newer units out there, Minolka, as well as some of the very powerful older units, Yifa AS, uh, Ultra Xion or Perfect Xion, which of course is a very top pick for the Star Dream, Eva, which is still quite good, and Silver Striker, which not really interesting except for the fact that I'm missing her in some form. Okay, so again, you can see that there. And again, free banner, Ify is available. And other than that, Minoka was not. So 5% chance, 50% rate up on both. If you're wondering about comparing the two, strictly speaking, and have none of the 10 units or very few of the 10, it's a tough choice, but I would probably uh, prioritize the Fighting Spirit series. Just to find the fact that Ultra Shion is game breaking, Yifa AS is also game breaking. Minoka is, in, although not absolutely necessary, I've used her because I do have her in a well, you know, in a five star that I pulled as a four and a half. She is extremely powerful with her fire DPS and barrier pierce, and of course, who can forget Eva? In terms of the other banner, for those who want ES Meryl, hey, you can get her at one percent. And let's be honest, ES Nakoko is broken as heck. ES Yukino is the mainstay of top tier um, pierce teams now. AS Sora is still quite good as a tank, and, and AS Lily is very powerful water mage. However, those last two, Lily and Sora, I consider to be not worth pulling for because they are available as a three and a half and four, and you will have been able to grind out those treatises and so on and so forth for those two. So this banner with the uh, that I show here, the blessing, is much less valuable in my opinion than the Fighting Spirit series. So. Anyways, hopefully that gives you some input as to my thoughts about these banners. Uh, let me know in the comments below how you've done on the banners, if you have already pulled. Uh, what are your thoughts about the banners? Are you planning to pull? And uh, you know, um, if you've played through the Apocrypha, let me know how you think as well. I am working through the Apocrypha as we speak, um, probably about a third of the way through. And of course, uh, it's going to take some time. Um, I'm not going to be summoning on uh, ES Meryl's banner. But I am tempted about uh, pulling on the Fighting Spirit series just because I haven't pulled on an upgraded banner. And uh, if you're a whaleish or heavy dolphin or heavy spender, these are great ways to get extra light and shadow on those units as well. Not only that, but you know, this banner does have a lot of powerful units. And my, I think my, uh, my Monoka is only four, four shadow. And my Shiana, of course, uh, without putting any uh, monthly shadow on it, would have started at zero anyway. So these are um, hard to kind of boost up. And so something to consider for myself anyways. Uh, if anything, I may try maybe a thousand and see how it goes. Hopefully to hit any random five star. I actually haven't even side graded uh, AS Yifa, so that would be a free side grade for me. But strictly speaking, probably not necessary, except for the fact that I'm missing Silver Striker. Anyways. Hope you're enjoying the new Apocrypha. Hopefully you're enjoying all these banners to celebrate the 6th anniversary of Japan. And uh, continue playing the Apocrypha. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.